should be third. Meters. How about that? A world record to the Americans. Seconds. What a performance. 357.91. And scores. 16.225. When you're here, it's all about the numbers. But at the top, the numbers here may be just as important as the ones here. I do have to watch what I eat. Um, there are days the coach will come out and he'll tell all of us girls, he's like, straight up, you're fat. you got to look the part. So it's like, how am I going to say I'm a runner and I don't look like a runner? But public pressure to look the part is fueling an unhealthy trend. Eating disorders are sort of at epidemic proportions these days, and athletes are at a... Athletes are in a population that are at increased risk. One in five elite female athletes suffers from disordered eating, and it's not just the pros. One in four college age women binge and purge to manage weight. Whitney Post says competitive traits make athletes more vulnerable. Like they tend to be perfectionistic. They tend to be goal oriented. They tend to be really driven to be successful. Um, you have to be pretty good at sort of pushing down, you know, the body's signals. It's a group Post sees often. She co-founded the nonprofit Eating for Life Alliance. I'd always felt a real calling to um, do something larger on, on the scale um, of eating, promoting eating disorder recovery. A calling that wasn't by coincidence. My rowing career and my eating disorder career started pretty much at the same time. For nearly 15 years, the world champion rower and Olympics alternate battled bulimia. In the context of all the pressure and fear to make weight, um, that was you know, that was all I was doing. My weight would swing like 40 pounds or so. Um, in, the, in the course of maybe one year. Because of their training, athletes can be harder to spot. It's very shameful, it's very secretive, um, and you, um, you don't want to be doing it. Less energy, more frequent strains, and needing longer recovery time are all signs that there's a problem. There's you know, higher risk for injuries, there's um, long-term fertility issue risk. The biggest mistakes parents, coaches, and teammates make keeping quiet. The longer eating disorders go on, um, the harder they are to treat. Post says of all of her victories, the biggest came without fanfare or medals. The accomplishment that I think is the most important accomplishment was my recovery from an eating disorder. My life really turned a corner um, when, when I found what I needed for a full recovery. A message she hopes to share with girls everywhere, including her own. It's such a tough culture for girls these days, and I think, um, I think take it, take it as it comes, see what kind of a child she is, and then respond accordingly. I'm Vanessa Welch reporting.